Assalamualaikum. My name is Widi Mutakin, founder of Expo Studio and also Expo Academy. In this video, I want to show you how easy it is to create stairs in Blender without any complicated math and without any add-ons. Keep in mind that this tutorial is not for beginners, so I assume that you already know the basics of using Blender, especially 3D modeling techniques. All right. For your information, I am currently using centimeters and also set the snapping mode to vertex. Let's say we need to create a staircase from the ground level to the top of a floor. I already know that the height is 4 meters, but this method does not require you to know it in advance. Essentially, you can create stairs for any floor height pretty quickly. All we need to focus on is the dimensions of the stairs. How wide is it? And how deep is it than the height between the steps? Okay, we can start by creating a plane object. Let's say we want to make the width 90 centimeters and a depth 25 centimeters. Don't forget to apply the scale so that all the scale values become one. Next, this is not mandatory, but I prefer the origin of the object to be on a corner vertex. We can press Control period, press G. Drag and hold Ctrl to make it snap to the vertex. Ctrl period again. Then press Alt G so that the plane's origin is at the center of the 3D world. Okay, we now have the basic shape of the step. Then, this is also not mandatory, but I prefer to set the object name first before duplicating. Next, you might be thinking of using the array modifier. The problem is, if we use Array, it will be difficult later when we have to perform snapping. So in this case, I prefer to use a regular duplicate but with linked or instance method. We want to duplicate this step in the direction of its target as far as the depth or 25 centimeters, and as high as the ideal value we want to target. Let's assume that the ideal height is 17.5 centimeters. Remember, when duplicating, we don't press Shift D, but Alt D, then Y. This is so that the duplicate result is an instance of the original. Let's revise the Y distance to 25 centimeters, and the height or Z becomes 17.5 centimeters. You may use any numbers as you see fit based on the project. Personally, this is the number that I feel the most comfortable with. After you are done, you can repeat the command by pressing Shift R. Just keep pressing Shift R until the total height exceeds the target floor height. Okay, if you want, you can save all of this into an asset so that if one day you need to create another staircase, you can just click drag it from the asset browser. Next, we need to select them all. We have selected one of the steps. So just press Shift L and select Object Data. This will select all objects with the same instance data. Now we can move them to the left and see which step is closest to the floor. We can pick this one or this one. I just pick the top one because it's closer. We can discard all the steps after that. Select all the steps again with Shift L. To scale everything at once, we can use the Scale Kitch tool. Now, this is very important for you to note. To make the Scale Kitch tool able to snap to a vertex, make sure that in Snap Panel, the Effect Scale option is active. With this, if we drag its top point and move it to one of the points on the upper floor, it will snap and align perfectly. This top step is no longer useful to us, so we can delete it. Select everything again with Shift L and move while snapping to the target floor. Okay, just a reminder, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe first so you don't miss other useful content in the future. Now, because each step is an instance, it will be easy to shape them into different kinds of staircase models. For example, we can just extrude the face downwards to create a hanging or cantilever model. If this is the design that you want, then it is done. All you need is just to add a wall. But commonly in my country, Indonesia, we make staircases with concrete castings. 
so we usually install the sloping form work, then the upright ones for the steps. Then we pour in the concrete from the top. The point is that the bottom part of the staircase is flat. To make something like this is also very easy with our current setup. First, we need to lower this face until it snaps on the surface of the steps below. Then, go into edge mode and then move this edge until it snaps to the front bottom border of the neighboring step. And that's it. The height can be adjusted if we want, but that is basically the technique. You don't have to worry about these lines because they won't be visible when rendered. Everything will look smooth. After that, we can remove the bottom step because now it's sunk into the ground floor. And for the first step, this is also optional. If you want this to be neater, you can flatten the bottom. But in order to edit it independently of the other instances, we need to make it unique or in Blender terms, single user. Aside from the menu, a quick way to make an object single user is to apply the transformation. For example, with the apply scale command. Now, we can select this edge and just set the height to 0 to level it to the ground. After you have something like this, you can make the stairs turn however you want. For example, we want to make it turn to the right, let's say at this step location. We can select all the steps first. Press R, Z, then 90. Then move and use the snap vertex for perfect positioning. I am using the closest mode now, so the closest vertex snaps to the target. Now, this middle step is still an instance of the others. We can just apply the scale, which automatically makes it a single user. After that, we can select the face on this side, extrude and snap it to the vertex on this edge. And Alhamdulillah, it is done. You can join all the steps into one object if you want, and then create the railing and so on. Inshallah, we will discuss railing and other techniques in different videos. If you want to learn 3D in more detail or other computer graphics software, don't forget to check out my courses on Udemy and Skillshare. The links are in the description below. Thank you for watching. Wassalamualaikum.